Today, we're heading inside Knock to go to the plastics lab and explore the latest research on microplastics. I'd love to ask you a bit about microplastics. What are microplastics? So microplastics are very small plastic particles. They can be as small as the dust grain. Wow, okay. And they can be as large as a uh, rice grain. Okay, so small, really small. Really small. You won't be able to see them with the naked eye. So what has your research here been focusing on? So our group at NOC uh, focuses mainly on quantifying and characterizing the amounts of plastics that we find in the aquatic environment. So we investigate the very fundamental questions of microplastics contamination, which we are trying to find out the extent of it and describe that extent. I think uh, people will be surprised by the fact that microplastics are very sneaky. Sneaky in a way that they are so small that they can go through the cell walls. And this is potentially most harmful effects that plastics can do. So to determine uh, what sort of harms microplastics can do, we really need to understand how much of that stuff is out there in the environment. So what is the weirdest fact about microplastics? Well, the weirdest fact that I've heard recently is that there are more microplastics in the ocean than the stars in the sky. No! <laughs> which might be true or which might actually be more than that because when we talk plastic pollution, we refer to uh, sizes of particles. Mm -hmm. And currently, we're only able to address certain sizes of microplastics. The smaller you go down the size range of a particle, the more particles are out there. So actually, there might be more microplastics or nanoplastics <laughs> or even smaller plastics out there than the actual number of stars in the sky. So why do people need to know about this and why should they act on it now? So plastics is a very essential part of our lives but as we come to find out there is a lot of waste is being produced. A lot of plastic is used for only 15 seconds and then thrown away. So ultimately, it's not only producing a lot of plastics, but also wasting a lot of it with potentially very harmful effects for the environment that we live in. But it doesn't mean that we need to despair. We can start acting now. Microplastics are not all plastics in general are not supposed to be there in, in the environment. So the first thing that we can do is to close the plastic tap stop discarding plastics into the environment. Mm -hmm. So it has to be a joint effort from the society, from the government, from the plastic industries. 